Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing today? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an Ethernet cable and I'm going to show you the easiest way to make it and I'm going to give you some tips that other people don't show on their videos. So just keep watching. You're going to need something to strip the wire. I'm going to use these ones. These ones I use it for um, RG6 cable, but they also work for CAT5 and CAT6. I'm just going to spin it around the wire and that's going to uh, score it and it, um, it's going to let me pull out the, the sleeve. You're going to need some wire cutters. Okay. You're going to need the crimpers. Okay. This one has for telephone and ethernet. You can also cut the cable here and these ones can also score it. We're going to grab a piece of cable. As you can see, this one is short. It's just going to be demonstrating on how you should do it. So we'll grab the cable. We'll, we're going to grab the strippers. We're going to slide it in there. Now, if you don't have strippers, you can also use the scissors or snips. Doesn't matter as, as long as it gets the job done. So we're going to spin this one around a couple of times. Take it out and try to pull the sleeve out. So as you can see, that worked. So we're going to have one, two, three, four pairs, and then uh, the insulation in the middle, and then this right here. So we're going to grab, um, so we don't want to use this part from here because I don't know if you can see every time we spin the strippers or the scissors, the snips around, uh, there is a big chance, big possibility that you can damage the wires inside and we don't want to use that because if we end up using this and it's already damaged right here, uh, we're going to have trouble with the wire. So what we'll do is we're going to use this right now. We're going to pull it down, but first we're going to make a little cut right here on the same sleeve. We're just going to make a little cut like this. And now we're going to pull this down just about another inch more okay so did you see that so now that cut the sleep all the way down here so now we can cut the excess on that Okay, so we're gonna cut just a little more because it's too long and we will need all that. So we're gonna start separating all of these cables. So once you have them separated, we're gonna have to put them together the way they are gonna go. So the first one's gonna be the light green and I'm gonna put a table right here so you can look at the colors it's gonna be light green green light orange blue light blue okay so that's the order they're going orange light brown and then brown all right so this is how mine is looking i'm trying to put them in order and make them stay like that so now we are not gonna need all this much wire so we're gonna cut it right now and something that is really important guys is that uh, you terminate the connections really well make sure that you only have the enough wire inside of the connection so we're gonna kind of measure it here because we still want the sleep 
to be inside of the connection. And you'll see at the end how that's gonna look. So it's gonna be somewhere about there. So we're just gonna grab it and we're gonna cut it right there, okay? So all of these we won't need. See that? Now, why I say that this is really important that you don't leave uh, this wire exposed. It's one, because you want it to look nice, obviously, but also the better it looks, the more secure it is inside of there, the less wire exposed you have, the better connection uh, that you're gonna have. The fastest your internet's gonna be, the more The more uh, productive it's gonna be okay so once you have all the wires ready I'm just gonna count them again just to make sure light green green light orange blue light blue orange light brown and brown and then we're gonna slide it in there just to see how it's gonna look and now what I always do is I put the brown on the right side this is what our people um, videos don't say. We put the brown on the right side and then the little uh, tab, this thing pointing down. That's how I always, always go by that. So we're gonna make sure they're close and tight. Okay, we're gonna slide it in there. And at the same time, we're trying to make sure that they don't cross over, okay? So now once it's in there, we'll grab the crimpers, okay, we'll just, just put it in there, we're gonna crimp it once, I usually do it like at least two times just to make sure. Now as you can see here on the side, so when I punch it down, there's like a tab here drives into the into the sleep from the ethernet cable and and holds it down together okay so obviously it perforated the cables like the wires at, at the very end that's why we had to push it all the way to the back all the way to here so those little metal um, tabs they punch in the cable and hold it down but also the sleep is very important that that stays in there, that, that gets in there. Just so the whole cable stays together. Now I can pull it and it will move it all, okay? Okay, so when you're done with both, this is how it's supposed to look, okay? I mean, I guess it's gonna be longer, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is how it's gonna look. So I, uh, I ended up putting both um, browns on the right side and both of these pointing down, okay? So now this is the finished product. Now you can start using it. So you can connect it to your router, to your switch, um, and then to your computer or any uh, device and it should be able to work. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. I usually post uh, um, things about some home automation, smart products, uh, things like these, useful things that can help you in your life. So follow my channel. Thank you very much.